What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. One of the brothers on the platform that I have uh, in great endearment for, a lot of respect for, especially since the passing of Kevin Samuels, is the great Mediocre Heroes in Reviews. I remember when I had like 150,000 subscribers and he had only 10,000. Uh, and he's a much better YouTuber than me. He has a better platform than me. And you know, he's just one of the most respectful guys in the business. Um, I have a lot of, you know, good buddies in the business. Book of Alpha Rodney's another one. Alpha Male Strategies is another one. I got to call him. And shout out to Alpha Male Strategies. He just had thyroid surgery for what I've been told. So I want everybody to send their, uh, you know, just to go over there and comment on this YouTube channel. Let them know that we're thinking about that, brother. But there are a lot of stand-up guys, and, and, and MTR is just one of those guys. He's an awesome person. And, um, of course, he's been working with uh, Miss Melly Monaco. Now, Melly Monaco has another channel called The Pineapple Show. She's from France, but uh, lives in the United States. And recently, they have went to Jamaica. Right in 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 in, and the thing about it is, is why people were so mad. You know, with this whole just pearly thing situation, he's supposed to stay here and make a thousand videos like me. That's what I'm doing, right? Because I'm broke. He got more money than me. But I'm looking at, you know what? Let me just play some of the video, and then I'm gonna come back and talk again. Thank you, fam. Probably thank you, fam. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All of them. One for the princess. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Yeah, yo, we in Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica. Welcome to Jam Rock. I want you guys to take a look at the, ah, the views real quick. Crystal blue. Crystal blue. Ah. Ah. Vacation. I needed it. I needed it real bad. What up? Hey. hey. You having a good time? They, I'm having a fantastic time. You having a good time? It's been great. Listen, I want to show them. Can I show them the um? Of course. The line. I feel. I believe that they call this God. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I believe that they call this God. You don't you don't see this normally. How are you? Me? Yeah, you. You about to go live or no? Yep. Is it cold in there? No, it's hot. It's warm and it's salty. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's warm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cold like a Wait, hold on. Why are you lying? Oh, hold on. It's not cold at all. That, it, 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 is, it, is, it is oddly um, frigid. Not cold. Why are you lying? <laughs> hey, I'm alive on mine. This is pretty. Wait, wait, I thought you about to go live, no? I am live. Are you live too? Yeah. This is live inception. <laughs> live inception. We all just live live right now. What up? Live of the live. We live with the live. What up? What up? We out here. Are you drunk? Are you drunk? <laughs> you drunk like a <laughs> relax, girl. Huh? <laughs> exactly. This is what God made. He said, let there be light and let there be nature. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got the, the hotel staff. The hotel staff part of the MT Army though. Right, that's right. Yo, you been we, looking at that channel for how long, bro? We we international. We international Since in this 2018. bitch. 2018. 2018. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's early. Yeah. That's early in the journey, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's early. Yeah, that's that's the same time like um Alpha Mills is popping off. AMS. Yeah. Did you know he just had surgery? No. Yeah, he did. So I saw him in, uh, I saw uh, AMS in Atlanta 
in Bucket not too long ago, and he told me he had to get surgery on his goiter, his thyroid. Oh. So like literally he had surgery this morning and he's out of surgery, he's good yeah, though. Guys. So guys, you, you, you've seen the video. They're having a great time in the tropics. I'm actually mad, cause I'm up here drinking coffee, doing videos for y'all, right? And then I'm seeing so many great comments. And that's what I like to see, right? The manosphere is evolving. The red pill is evolving. But man, I'm going to talk about some of these comments that I saw that was just crazy. Oh, you simping. Oh, you're doing something. Oh, you need to wash your hands before you deal with her. And of course, you know, let me let me just say this. A, a lot of the brothers, man, that make those sorts of comments. Look, she's a she's a great influencer. She's a beautiful young lady. And one of these things that a lot of you brothers do, okay, is y'all hate on anybody that's actually hanging out with a lady. I'm not saying everybody, right? But, but the, the red pill spaces, is it like that you guys dislike women? I mean, and again, I'm, 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 I'm still largely considered a real red pill creator, but goddamn, the guy is out there with a beautiful young lady a beautiful young lady that i mean hey you would love to have a beautiful young lady with you wouldn't you most men would all right and some guys have been sold a dream by phony red pill fraud creators and let me tell you one thing about red pill fraud creators they lie to say anything for money mtr undergraduate did well i think he went to, he went to penn state top 50 NBA program. The guy was somebody before he came here. Most of these red pill fraud guys were bums. Were nobody in real life, nobody today. Yet they're on here selling all these ridiculous courses about how you can pick up chicks, how you can do this, you know, how to maintain a masculine frame. And like a, a lot of these guys on here can't even show what what their girlfriend looks like i mean at least he's showing what his looks like if that's his girlfriend i don't know right but he's at least hanging out with her he's at least so at least you know she's attractive what wh what about some of these guys out here and some of you guys in the comments you guys say the most dumbest things that make absolutely no sense at all i have no idea why you guys say what you do some of you brothers you know and hating on the knowing damn well if you had a shot with somebody working with something you would definitely take it, okay? The red pill is not about hating women or disliking women. It's supposed to show you the reality of falling in love and how to keep your stuff together and that women can make the same kind of ruthless decisions that a man can make. How to handle that, okay? Not, you know, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't be hanging out with her no way, you're simping. So what should he, he, he should be doing? I mean, sitting next to you, buying an Andrew Tate course, living a false life and a false ideology, like you guys are not even serious at all. The things that you guys say are so stupid sometimes. It's like, oh, okay, okay. So this, these guys are not serious at all. And again, shout out to the brothers who hanging out, going to nice places with a nice lady on your arm because that's what actual adults do when you actually have money, hello, when you actually have worked hard in your life, you can do nice things like that. That's the whole purpose of working hard. But y'all don't hear me though. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell, we're out.